Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create cinema graphs in GIFSign. If you're not familiar with GIFSign, it's an all-in-one app with which you can create animated GIFs, cinema graphs, and much more. Let me show you some examples of cinema graphs before and after. So in this first example is a video of water pouring into a glass with a reflection. But as you can see, I was able to create a cool looking cinema graph. In the second example of a waterfalls video, I was able to freeze one section of the waterfalls, creating another cool effect. Ok, so now let me show you how to create a cinema graph. So this is my GIF sign dashboard. Click on the plus button to start creating your cinema graph. You can upload your video from YouTube or Vimeo by using this URL box, as well as from your computer. I'll import my video from my computer. So once your video is uploaded, you will see it in this area right here. And down below is a timeline slider that helps you control the start and end times as well as the duration of the cinema graph. You will also notice that there are three tabs in the top left corner. And we are currently in the basic tab. In this tab you can place text and image overlays. I generally don't use the text overlays. The image overlay is good because for example you can upload your logo. For now I'll just skip this part. And down below you can set the quality and looping of the cinema graph. I generally set it to HD and the looping to normal. In the filters tab you can apply several filters and I'm going to skip this part as well. In the cinema graph tab is where all the magic happens. So the first thing you need to do is take a still image. And like I showed you earlier, you start by using the start button on the timeline slider to decide what frame you want to choose as a still image. And then you click on the eye icon and it turns orange when activated. Next you need to use these two masking tools. The first button activates the mask and the second button activates the brush. You can use a slider to change the size of the brush. So I'm going to mask only the traffic on the road, so it creates a cool effect. I'll just use the brush, like so. As you can see it leaves an orange trace. Then I'm going to deactivate the mask and the brush. So we can just preview it. And then I'll click the preview button up top. As you can see, it's created a really cool effect. So what I'll do is I'll just close the preview. You can then just save this by clicking the save button up top. And then it'll be saved to your dashboard right here. You can then download it or even create a mockup. And I'll create a separate tutorial on how to create mockups. But hope this gives you a good idea of how to create cinema graphs. In order to create high quality cinema graphs, you need to choose the right video. I'll also be creating a separate tutorial with tips on how to choose the right videos. Hope you found this tutorial useful and thanks for watching.